What up guys? What up guys? It's Bo Jinjin and this is I guess a Lego Mobo. You know, a Lego Mobo yeah. Man, I can't tell you like the last time I felt like this. Or like rather the last time I was able to feel like this, you know. Um yeah, so I thought I'd do a Lego Mobo, you know. In order to kind of fill you in with how I am since the last update, I guess. Because I gave an update, didn't I? Uh, a few months ago. And also just just have a, you know, a kind of heart-centered, authentic chat with you guys. You know, whoever might be watching this. You know, Hopefully I can make you feel a bit better about yourself as well. Um, so yeah, like, I've been on holiday for like the past week. <laughs> And it's great, you know, like, the last time I took a holiday was um, when I went to Japan in, uh, like, March. And I haven't had a holiday since. You know, I haven't, well, actually, I tell a lie. I, I, I had a few days off, but, like, it's always been, a, like, spending time with family or something like that. But this month, I had a week off where I was just by myself. I did my own thing, right? And there was a bit of monkey business, you know, <laughs> I guess that, there was a bit of monkey business, in this, uh, I, aka like just me fucking around a bit. But like, I recognize that like, I've been on this journey long enough to recognize that like, you know, this is what happens, right? We all go through these cycles, right? You know, where, you know, you, you kind of, when you've been working really hard, like I have, you know, you've been going to work and just working your fucking nuts off. Right, and you take some time off, like you need a bit of time to kind of flush your system a bit. And that's exactly what happened with me. But like the different the only difference is like, you know, I've just been I've been through that cycle so many times, you know, where like basically I've come out of the fog a bit and I'm back into like, okay, I've got a bit of space to breathe here, right? Um I've been through that cycle long enough to uh, like enough times to like recognize when it happens now. And what do I do? I kind of just like, I consult my feelings, you know, which is something I talk about where like, I just kind of like, I identify what I want to do and I kind of do it. All right. And I don't resist whatever comes out from it, you know? Um, and the more, the less that you resist, like the quicker you move through it. Right. Or, you know, well, or at least that, that's, that, that's the idea of it. Right. But like, um, yeah, like, I haven't been working for a week, and, like, it, it's, it, it's crazy, man, you know, because, like, I don't know, work sucks, <laughs> like, there's no other way of putting it, man, like, like, like work sucks, and, and, like, I mean work that you have to go to, and it's, like, it's, like, mindless you know um and and it tires you out and like you know it's it's tough you know people are kind of nasty to you sometimes um you know and it's hard right and then you take a week off and you realize like how much you were like fucking like your head was against the pavement, you know? Like, I, that's what I meant by, like, I wouldn't have been able to do a Lego Mobo at any other time, because I've been, like, on top of working, I've also been doing, like, other stuff as well, you know? Like, try, I've been doing game streams, I've been doing these vlogs, like, the serious ones. Uh, I've been doing writing, I've been doing, like, music as well. And so, like, nowadays, aside from, like, fucking eating and, like, sleeping, like, I have no time to do fucking anything else. And, like, you know, <sighs> but, like, when you've had a bit of rest from all of the, the chaos, like, your love comes back to you. And, like, that's part of the cycle also, you know, that I've recognized is, like, when you take a breather, you're fine, you know, like, cause when, you're, when your face is against the fucking curb, bleeding and raw, you know, like, it's tempting to be, like, so full of self-doubt and, like, 
you know, you're like, I'm worth, I'm, I'm like a piece of shit. I can't get anything done. I'm tired. And like, I'm stressed. But then when you, but then when inevitably you take some time off, you, you can speak clearly. You know, like your brain isn't fucking like <clears throat> jittery noise all the fucking time. You know, your, you know, your facial muscles are relaxed. You feel clean, you know, and you feel fine. And yeah, and like I just wanted to. I always, and um, one thing I always do. This is so. This, but I'm, I'm a sentimental person, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm someone who is like this, you know. But like, I always make an entry, you know, either like a spoken entry that I do to myself, like I mentioned in, in my previous entries, vocal, like a vocal diary, or. This time I, I wanted to do like a Lego Mobo, like a candid talk with you guys, just a short one, just commemorating every breath that I take, where I, I, I remember my love, you know, I remember who I was when I'm not fucking stressed out and like, you know, I have some time to be myself and, and be centered around myself, right? And yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, it's crazy, but like, what can you do? What can you do? I started working, um, like I mentioned, you know, I started working, uh, you know, winter 2014 and I've been working ever since in a job. And sometimes it's hard to kind of, I get stressed out, man. Let's just say that. Right. And so, you know, I'm sure many of you who might be watching this probably can relate with that you know like I miss those times when I could just I, I say this all the time but I miss those times when I could just sit by myself and just be with myself and not have to not have to be accountable to anyone else but myself you know and just live a quiet and centered life you know I I'm someone who does want to live you know like there's a side of me who wants to experience life and try crazy things and have crazy ideas well but like i think as the side of me is still you know i am a spiritual person like a part of me just wants to sit here and be still and like for like for nothing else to like fucking throw me off balance you know and i know i'm just whining i guess but like maybe some of you can relate to this you know it's like you just miss like, like more innocent, quiet times where like everything was still and beautiful. And instead, like, you know, you're thrust back again, you know, I'm going back to work like next week. And it's like, once again, you're thrown back into the chaos where like you will lose yourself. You know, your face will again be shoved down onto the curb where the muck and grime is. And it's just like, it's tiring, you know, and what can you do? what can you do? You know, you can't really do anything about it. Like the only thing you can do is to just keep going and keep going, you know, I'll be honest, you know, like I said some very seemingly, you know, like, you know, be all and like end all things in my last update. And like, I have to say, I'm not so sure anymore. So I'm just being completely honest. Um, like, again, I do want, I do like the idea of, for instance, writing, you know, like, I do like the idea of using that as a vehicle, but like, it's like, well, I'm trying to do so much, man. It's like, there's so much I want to do, you know, and like, I want to do these. I love these videos, man. I love doing this. I love expressing my ideas. I love this. I love games, you know, I love video games. I love them, you know, I love media, you know, certain media, you know, I even like books, you know, but like, to be honest with you, like probably to a lesser extent than I love like things like games, but Hey, you know, but, and, and I like, um, music as well that's the other major thing that i love so it's like really just three big things in my life that i love doing conscious development or, or ideas you know spirituality whatever you want to call it um 
I love games and I love music. You know, those are the big three. And it's like, when I think about it, yes, writing is probably a lot more, there's a bigger chance that I'll succeed financially if I do writing. Because music is kind of a bit more, it's a bit harder in my estimation, you know, I don't know that much, if anything, about those industries respectively, like, because I haven't really done anything in the industries, but like, um, you know, if anything, like, you know, there's Amazon, you know, there's Kindle, there's like, other platforms like that that have books on them whereas with music it's like there's music on all, all over the place you know music for different applications whereas like with books it's a bit more kind of stable and solid whereas the music is kind of like you can you can use it for anything you know you can do anything in music whereas what i actually want to do in music is very very specific um but anyway you know so like what i decided to do is is just to adjust accordingly really you know like I, I know i said that i was going to write like 20 books or something by by october i'm not sure if that's going to be possible anymore you know even one book like one book a month would be fucking amazing but like i want it to be the right kind of book because like and it's like when you when, when you want to write so many books is like and, and like again you have to like research and like find out what kind of books to send it selling and then you also have to kind of like it's up to you how you write the book, you know, is it going to be a model after like a bestseller or like something that sells or is it going to be something that's unique from yourself, right? And it's like, well, to be honest, like, yeah, you know, I'm open to doing market research, you know, I want to see what books are selling just to see what makes people tick. But like, at the same time, I have to play to my strengths. Um, and so like, I'm still going to write, but like, all I'm doing at the moment is just moving forwards step by step, you know. I don't know what's going to happen, but, like, if there's any, if anything is going to be true, like, I'm never going to stop doing what I love, you know. And then, like, just instead of, like, trying to force anything, like, just be sensible, be frugal, but do the things that you love. So I'm going to keep making these vlog videos, you know. Like, what I said... In the last update, essentially, was that I, I had wanted these videos to be an income source, you know. But like, I'm I'm am realizing more and more that like, well, yes, maybe I like I you know, I was a bit kind of like pr like uh, presumptuous, but like at the same time, I still like doing these videos, you know. I still like sharing my ideas, um, you know, um, that kind of thing. Um, I still love playing the piano. I, I love many, I, like, I like many things, but, like, I don't know. Like, the only thing I do know is just to move forward step by step, by step you know. You know, we all want to become financially stable and for that to be the end. But, like, I don't think life is that simple, you know. Or rather, that's the wrong order in which things happen in life, I think. That could be another kind of stupid rationalization I have, you know, I don't know. I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of a shit talker, let's be honest, you know, like, if, if anything, that's probably what my friends would say about me, like, I kind of, I'm kind of talk a lot. Yep, I talk a big, get a big game, you know, like, I, I'm, I proclaim things really easily, but like, when it comes to actually doing them, I fucking suck, you know, and I'm flighty, and I'm like, like I'm kind of indecisive, you know, uncommitted, you know, pretty much a dabbler. But that being said, like I'm like I have, I'm still going to move forwards. But like I, all I'm going to do is adjust my course, right? So anyway, that's a bit of an update of mine. I didn't want it to be a downer again, but like it's like, yeah, you know. If you're watching this and you're trying to make something happen and you're similar to me because honestly I'm really only speaking to the people who are similar to me you know like I hope people who aren't similar to me can find value in these videos I really really hope that you know I hope my ideas are open to all of you you know like I want if and if you don't like my ideas you're, that's fine as well I'm not going to take offense you know it's fine it doesn't matter but at the same time 
I'm talking to the kind of person who's like me because like that's just the the, traje the trajectory that I'm headed in you know like I'm catering for the person who is like me or rather that's a choice I've made you know someone who is spiritual someone who is introverted you know who might be Chinese I don't know you know maybe that's a bit specific but like Someone who, someone who's a bit of a dreamer and he, he has many things he wants to do and he's trying to follow his heart, you know, even when he has to kind of basically contradict himself many, many times, you know, that's, 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 that's the fear that he has and the ammunition that other people have against you. It's like, you keep fucking changing your mind, just make up your fucking mind, but it's like, no, I can't do that. You know, I can't do it. You know, all I can do is, like, try to be more sensible. But I can't... The one thing I can't do is to be put into a box just so that you can understand me better, you know. And the same goes for me. You know, my own fucking ego is always like, why can't you... You know, as the voice, you know, devil's advocate of the voice of the masses, like, you know, the preemptive strike, you know, the fucking ego loves doing that shit, doesn't it? The fucking ego is so such a brat it's like yeah bo like um you know why don't you just fucking make up your mind you know do you think you're actually going to succeed if you're all flighty or like this i'm like i don't know ego i really don't fucking know all i'm doing is trying to like follow my heart as best as i can take actions but like i don't want them to be the wrong fucking actions because my life decisions rather because my whole life has been full of that wrong decisions and like for once in my life i don't want to make or rather i'm i'm hesitant to make decisions sometimes that are like that are kind of like too uh, because like i don't want to make the, the wrong decision i know that happiness is elusive and it only rewards you if you if you go towards it directly and sometimes we get sidetracked and sometimes that's fine you know for example you learn to manage your finances you learn to save some money, which I'm learning to do now, properly, you know, that's fine, because it helps you, but, like, if it's, like, oh, maybe this job, which is somewhat related to what you want to do, you know, I'm, I'm open to that, honestly, but, like, at the same time, like, I'm not going to be, like, s like shoehorned into that role, I'm not going to make that mistake, I'm always going to be on guard against that, because I know that happiness for me can only come if I'm 100% honest with what I really like, and, like, I wonder if this, like, I don't know. I, I get the feeling that it's the same for everyone, but, like, some people just play it off so that, like, they don't need that shit, you know, as long as, or rather they settle for, like, popular or safe or secure, you know. But, like, for me, like, I know that I can't be happy unless I'm doing exactly what I want to do. And if it's not exactly what I want to do, it has to be helping me to do what exactly what I want to do. If it's a dead end that someone else has suggested, you know, that isn't really, like, that, doesn't, that isn't in the long run going to help me do what I want to do, fuck it. Again, you know, there's lots of grey areas, you know, it's like, maybe this thing might help me, maybe I should stop being so fucking, like, sceptical and just, like, and try it, right? But, like, at the same time, hey, you know, that's me. Anyway, enough ranting, you know, I, I hope for anyone who's watching this, thank you for sitting through this rant of mine, but like, I hope that you find, you know, it, it is hard. It's hard forging a dream life. Life is hard, period. But like, keep going. You'll have these moments of rest where you finally you get reacquainted with yourself, you know you you re re um reconvene with yourself and that's great you know and hey i wish you the best of luck you know let's keep going together and make that dream possible you know until the day where we can be our true selves and help the world that way you know, who knows if you know, and that statement is like well are we really going to help the world i hope so i really hope so i hope that i can help my the world in my own way but there you go. So cool. <laughs> I'm going to wrap that up here. Hope you guys, I wasn't as crazy as I thought I'd be, but like, you know, hey. Uh, catch you guys in the next entry. Peace out. Have a good day.
keep going. Wish you the best of luck. I love you. Bye.